So we're here at the Shenzhen Junior Tech, and now you have Cortex A9 yes. set-up box. Yes. ARM Logic? Yes, based on ARM Logic chipset. Why do you choose that one? Because um, ARM Logic is based on the Cortex A9. Yeah. It's good enough. And also uh, ARM Logic has the cost advantage. Cost advantage. So um, we choose the ARM Logic as our partner. But and why is it single core? Um, based on the application we are doing, it's a, yeah. it's a box based on Android. So uh, the, the single core for most of the applications is enough. Yeah. And I know that America is um, is doing um, new chipset based on dual core. It will be how soon? Um, Q3. Q3. But um, actually, uh, the right, the current one is not only uh, uh, single core. It has a multi core inside. For example, it has um, a Cortex A9, and it uh, it has a Mali Mali 400 inside. And it has um, some DSP uh, for hardware decoding and uh, for the other CPU uh, for the management arc. So two questions. Uh, is it as fast as a PlayStation 3 for video game? And is the video playback every codec, every bitrate? Okay, good questions. First is, um, I cannot say it's uh, the same speed as um, uh, uh, PlayStation 3. Uh, they are uh, they are optim optimizing the the Mali core for the 3D games. Yeah. Uh, the second question is, um, it can decode um, nearly all the uh, codecs, um, the format. For example, the VC1, WMV, X.264, MPEG1, MPEG2, DVX. 1080p. 1080p. Every bitrate, maximum bitrate. Maximum bitrate. Um, um, and so far, we test. Um, 18 megabits yeah. MPEG2 and the 15 megabits H.264. It works. High profile. High profile. MKV. MKV. And you can connect uh, NTFS hard disk, X2, X3 hard disk, and you can so you can have files that are bigger than four gigabytes. I know what you mean. Yeah? What do you mean? Yes, we um, by porting um, new firmware inside the kernel. Uh, our guys already improved um, um, the Enjoy yeah. uh, to supporting uh, NTFS and uh, uh, more than one gigabyte uh, um, hard drive. So you have Mali 400? Yeah, Mali 400. So what does it mean to have Mali 400? Does it mean you get everything from Mali 400 or different levels of Mali 400? Uh, supporting the Mali 400, the strong GPU uh, needs more drivers. Uh, optimization uh, on the drivers, so uh, still working on that. Uh, I'm a lot of guys still working on that. But does it mean that uh, anybody that will have Mali 400 will have the same speed in Mali 400, or you have different speeds in Mali 400? Uh, Mali you have more or less of the graphics? That is uh, uh, the current one uh, inside the Amelogic chipset is Mali 100, uh, 400 and uh, 250 megahertz. 250 megahertz? Yes. So you think you will play every every video game? Uh, cannot say that. Nintendo 64? Uh, for example, let me show you something. You can see here, this one. Yeah. So stuff like uh, Fruit Ninja and uh, and uh, Angry Birds very easy for you, right? Yeah, yeah very easy. But uh, have you tried a uh, Nintendo 64 emulator? Uh, it's a good question. Next step, we will try it. Okay. So, uh, how about uh, how about Google TV software? Let me close it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, good question. Uh, you know, the Google TV uh, is not an open platform, and uh, the, right now they support um, uh, Sony and uh, Logitech. Uh, but the concept is the same. Uh, what we are doing is, um, is making uh, another box based on Android, but uh, the uh, same functionality as the Google TV, but more open. It's not a closed system, only um, let, uh, let the application run. Uh, provided by the company uh, who sold you the who sold you the box, uh, our concept is uh, all the end user they can download their 
only interested in the APK and the install it and the make it work on the box. But what if Google next month maybe they open Google TV? You will maybe you will update it. You are interested. Um, next month, what I really expect is um, the Android 3.5, 3.0 release yeah. the source code. <laughs> I don't think uh, Google will release the Google TV so soon next Not yet. month. Yeah, I Not think. Yet. But they will. They will. They, they say will. they will. Right? Yeah, they say they will. So when they do it, well, do you want to work with that? Do you want to yeah. try and use it? We can stand on that and we can make a more valuable product based on Google TV. So how much does it cost you, Bucks? Right now, it's the, we, we, we call this, uh, this product, the basic version, is around 100 US dollars. But that's it's just a reference price. MSRP? MSRP, I think, should be uh, 169 or 179. Okay. All right. And you include all these things for $400, right? Wi-Fi, all those things? No. Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah. Wi-Fi and uh, SD card. All right. And the LAN, HDMI output. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.